Hi babes, how are you? If you're new, how welcome and Miss Michelle and yes, this is another celebrity tarot. You guys wanted me to give you an update on Hailey Bieber. So let's see what we can actually pick on her um, energies this week. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no day today are divinely guided. Everything has free well, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And I want to remind you that everything said here is for entertainment entertainment purposes only as everything said and mentioned here is allegedly throughout the whole reading so with this said let's move forward i also want to remind you guys that i am on spotify so if you want to follow me over there it's going to be in the description box below as well as in the comments i offer daily podcasts over there so if you don't mind following me i will highly appreciate it so with this said let's continue With the Knight of Wands in the reverse, Two of Cups, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Lovers, Wheel of Fortune, and Overall Energy. We got here Five of Cups. And at the bottom, the Nine of Pentacles. So we got here Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I do see right here. Um, I do see right here that allegedly um, Bailey Bieber can be bisexual. Hey, it does seem right here that she could be connected to Kendall Jenner. Is that like this kid this is just something that came so it seems right here that she could be bi curious and she's connected with kendall allegedly of course so at this point it seems right here that they're getting closer i know that they're close but they could get closer after something that justin is going to do to Haley. Allegedly, Haley is going to retake, retake um, the ballet. I know she used to be a ballet dancer or a dancer, and she's going to actually allegedly try to get back at it and to make her name a name to herself or for herself in that industry, in the ballet industry or the dance industry. I also see right here that. This connection that she has with, with Kendall is, it could be just platonic. It doesn't always mean that it's, uh, it's physical. Uh, allegedly, it's curiosity and for the both of them, allegedly. But again, I don't see it to go too far because it's just curiosity and most likely uh, it's just that. Now, it seems right here that she is toxically in love with justin is not even a healthy love it's just more about toxicity it's like trauma bonding here as well as i feel like she is going to allegedly come with pilat pilates pilates or something like that yoga or something like that she's gonna be either or offering clothing for that or offering classes or something like that online she's not really qualified for that but she's gonna try to do so if not it's gonna be just uh equipment for it now I do see with the Five of Cups right here, allegedly she's going to be left behind by Justin because he's going to either or go on a trip or so and he's not going to take her. She's going to feel very bad and she's going to feel mad but, uh, also with him. Allegedly here with the Empress and the King of Cups in the reverse right here, she's going to try to get pregnant with Justin's baby allegedly because um, it's trying, she's trying to ensure something. It's beyond love. Is beyond trapping him it's more about ensuring something like to secure something for her allegedly now I do see right here that her and Kendall allegedly are gonna get super 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 close in a way to perform that people are gonna start taking photos of them and claiming that they're a thing that they're actually something going on with her it's not even in yes or no I, it does says that they have a lot of care for each other and that overflowing of love for each other but love is love so at this point that's all he's saying 
I do see with the six of cups right here um, I do feel that <sighs> Haley Haley is going to uh, apologize publicly to Selena allegedly because she has realized that she was too much again late or not she's going to it is going to be a random day a random post on instagram on ig i do see right here with the page of source and reverse magician and the nine of swords right here um she just did it out of out of like she wanting it nobody told her to it's nothing no reason behind it um i do feel as well that this is going to spark more controversy and more speculations and whatnot what else do you think about Haiti? she is allegedly gonna be spotted a lot with kendall just her and kendall traveling and her and kendall going to places they're gonna go to a place um i don't know if it's in la or so or los angeles or another country uh it seems for me that it's like a asperger as it's called or something like that it's a country that's kind of always cold throughout the whole year and it's you only go over there of course if you have money and on vacation and they're gonna be spotted her and Kendall and that's gonna be on the time that Justin leaves and leaves her behind so she's gonna make plans with Kendall allegedly with the ace of wands right here you're gonna see her super happy um allegedly her and Kendall gonna have matching nail colors and whatnot um with the seven of pentacles right here uh she's gonna be dressed very comfy I do feel like this time she's gonna realize if she's wasting her time with Justin, if it, every, if, if the relationship is worth it or not. It's gonna look like a lot of like breakthroughs for her while she is traveling with Kendall. And even if there's other people in the in the trip, allegedly she's gonna be spotted a lot with Kendall. They're gonna be taking a lot of selfies. They're gonna it's like a villa or something that they're staying. With the queen of swords in the reverse he is not even there allegedly here um it feels right here that they're curious over each other i do feel like kendall also allegedly could be curious with with you know other females as well um, i'm not saying that none of them are hiding i feel like this curio curiosity i do feel like kendall allegedly has an attraction also for females like there could be a mild attraction which it's not a big deal but i'm just letting you know I do feel with the King of Wands in reverse and the Five of Pentacles, Haley is not happy with Justin. We know that, and I do feel like she is vulnerable too. But either way, she's where she needs to be because she wanted this. So I do feel like her and Justin are such so draining, so draining to each other. They're so bad for each other because it's like they they care for each other but they're so dangerous for each other allegedly also they're gonna mention uh her and kendall allegedly are gonna be mentioning kylie in jordan woods so they're gonna bring up something connected to jordan woods even though the jordan woods is actually just doing her own thing she's not even connected connected with the kardashians anymore she's not even mentioning them anymore so they're gonna try to drag this female off also into dra drama jordan woods allegedly is not gonna answer right away because once again she's like uh i don't want to get involved in this but she will have to because she's gonna get hate because of something else that these two are gonna bring so allegedly kendall and Haley are gonna bring some sort of like something that was forgotten again to light this is gonna put everything on a different perspective this is a new a new chaotic energy with the king of swords in the reverse right here you're not gonna hear anything from justin allegedly because first he's tired of drama second he doesn't even know what's happening and third he just don't want to get his himself mixed and mingle with that with the six of swords in the reverse right here this time around they're not going to be able to just you know walk away from uh the situation with an apology i do feel like jordan woods and the other people that are going to involved allegedly she's not going to take it lightly and she's going to and she, they're going to get in trouble because allegedly they just 
trying to say oh we're not doing anything wrong but they're being mean girls so at this point a lot of things are happening it's gonna be more controversy allegedly more scandals and for for justin to be honest because he didn't even knew and he didn't even want to be involved he just wants peace finally right here this is going to be the consequence of their own actions people are going to turn against them even more they're going to lose a lot of product a lot of like not product but like um campaigns and all of that allegedly um kendall is going to mention something about bad bunny that the people who support that bunny are going to be mad at her she's going to allegedly throw shade at him and say something negative about his english allegedly she's going to say something about some sort of remarks about his accent when he speaks english and allegedly she thought it was so funny but that's not that's not freaking funny it's when people say that to me i'm like if you're racist just say so <laughs> but you know what i'm saying like um again um people are gonna take it as an attack to the latin community so kendall is gonna get in trouble I feel that honestly they could even get themselves in legal issues here justice is gonna be served that Kendall is gonna have to you know withdraw from like social media for a bit she's gonna try to get get in or gain sympathy claiming that she suffered from anxiety and whatnot but at this point it's a lot of BS with this too it, it's connected to Haley and Kendall for whatever reason I do feel like no matter how much she Haley is connected to Justin allegedly for money and toxic traits they're they're not happy they're cheating on each other allegedly they care for each other at times but again it's just nothing good comes with it I do feel like she's too stubborn to admit that that this has no no fixing but again at this point allegedly she is just trying to Thing for the money and all that to secure something so at this point at this point um it is what it is and she's also allegedly trying to involve selena again into a new drama and selena is like done with it so allegedly selena's gonna speak up about like yeah don't mix don't mix me up with this selena's gonna speak up because selena is just freaking tired of being involved in here so at this point i feel like these two girls uh are just wanting to create trouble and issues because whenever they do this allegedly it's because they're actually not as popular or as relevant anymore so they relay on drama and scandals to get the most of it but this time is gonna pay it's gonna actually not pay back for them it's gonna actually be very negative for them and their image if you thought their image was bad it's gonna be way worse and even um chris and all that's gonna try to fix it but everybody is over the kardashian so that's what they needed to be completely over kardashian generous so at this point good luck with that that's what i see though so yeah that's that so this is the end of the reading guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe with this said guys um i want to remind you that if you want to follow me on ig and tiktok please go to the description box below and you're going to find my links also if you want to get a personal reading with me the same way it's going to be the description box below for my link also if it's easier you can book directly on my instagram as on my instagram and my bio you're going to find all the links to my actual platforms and one of them will be the website for personal reading which is going to be the same one as the i provide here so I want to remind you as well that I have a Spotify, like I said before. Also, you can find it on my IG. I am trying to get to 200 followers over there. So if you don't mind following me, I do daily podcasts and multiple um, episodes and multiple topics. Uh, Twin Flame, Soulmate, I talk about spirituality as well as story times and also, you know, uh, predictions and whatnot. To finalize, I want to remind you guys that I do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and I never message anybody on any platform requesting or money or offering readings whatsoever. So with this said, guys, thank you guys so much and have an amazing day.